Back with Countdown, right? Okay. <laughs> Back with Countdown right here on Bloomberg Quinta. And it's been a steady show from NIT Technologies in the December quarter with the margins expanding to 15%. Agam Akhil caught up with the CEO Sudhir Singh to discuss the key highlights of the quarter gone by and started by asking about the outlook going forward. Listen into what he had to say. The outlook going forward continues to be a very robust Agam. Uh, if you look at this particular quarter, the revenue number has gone up 28.5% year on year and it's gone up 7.1% quarter on quarter as you talked about. Equally importantly, operating profits, uh, operating profits have gone up 39.4% year on year and our operating margin at 18.6% for the mid-tier is possibly best in class now. So uh, we see the recent quarters, the last five or six quarters, as a very strong validation of the strategy that we've put in, the structure that we've put in, very importantly, the new leaders that we've hired. And we believe in some ways we are just starting. So we don't see the momentum tapering off. We expect to see the momentum continuing going forward. Right, so the uh, investors will certainly be heartened to uh, will hear that out. But uh, I also want to know about and perhaps understand a little more what we've seen in the industry at this point in time is uh, a little bit of a talent crunch because of which we are seeing a rise in uh, well, people's costs. At least that, that is the case uh, for uh, some of your peers in the industry. Now, I do understand that you guys have, uh, you know, built a, a good team out there, at least as far as your, your top, uh, you know, uh, hierarchy is concerned. Uh, how are you witnessing these trends right now uh, with respect to well, hiring costs and perhaps the impact on margins, if you can give us any outlook here? So, Agam, I think the proof in our case lies in the results that we've shown. Our margins at a point in time, when you're right, costs have been under pressure, have continued to rise. And as we've said in the past as well, we think that the 18% margin on a yearly level moving forward in the years to come is a sustainable number for us. So we understand costs are rising, we see that, but the productivity measures that we've put in place the cost outs that we have done from areas that were not absolutely critical to the organization have allowed us to offset the issues that we've seen around price cost. We expect the margins now where they are to be at a level where 18% or plus, as we've said earlier also, is a number that we think we can continue to deliver on. Right, Sudhir, if you could also tell us a little more about the deal wins of this particular quarter and the nature of these deals and how they are expected to pan out over, say, the next few quarters. Absolutely. Uh, we were very happy with the two large deals that we signed because both these large deals represent incremental revenues for us in the quarters and the years to come. The first one was a very interesting large deal. That was a large deal that we've signed with an insurance client. And this is a very new client, opened just about a quarter or two quarters back. For this client, we've secured a complete order to help them do a complete cloud-based insurance platform rollout. So that's a new client, almost new client, large order that's been booked from them. The second uh, large deal that we've secured again represents incremental revenue from our point, point of view. Uh, and out there, what we are doing is we're going to set up a very large offshore center or a pool of resources within an offshore center, which will help one of our large BFS clients roll out all enhancements globally and changes to their largest financial platform. Okay, uh, and perhaps a final question then, Sudhir. I just want to under better understand about your uh, key verticals. I suspect you are seeing uh, increased traction with respect to transportation. And, uh, well, of course, you've already spoken uh, to a certain extent about insurance. But uh, if you could also give us an idea about how financial service is panning out for you. Well, financial services is working out well for us, Agam. If you were to look at the last two or three quarters, the compounded quarterly rate would be more than 5% for financial services. Uh, in financial services, our focus continues to be on asset and on wealth management. And we continue to focus on the securities operations transaction processing space. 
in those areas we continue to see demand uh, and we expect that financial services like travel and like insurance which are the other two verticals for us will continue to uh, move forward as planned. NID Tech uh, and that's the management talking about